So the scripture for today is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 28, verses 30 and 31, and it reads, Paul welcomed all who came to him, proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching about the Lord Jesus Christ. And the meditation is the following. These words cast a final glance at the life of St. Paul. He appears to us in confinement, but he receives everyone who comes to him. Many turn to him with their problems, questions, and doubts, always finding a warm welcome from him. People who have a gentle heart and a broad, all-encompassing love naturally attract all those who are burdened by sin or grief, all those souls who desire to drink from the source of living water. Such was Paul. And without a doubt, he knew how to satisfy everyone and give them what they sought, patiently hearing them out and sympathizing with them. It is wonderful to see the type of help that St. Paul gave. He spoke of Christ and preached the kingdom of God, satisfying their hunger with heavenly bread. He pointed to Christ, from whom alone help and comfort can come. We do not have within ourselves the ability to help or comfort others. We can only point to our Savior. Those days of confinement turned out to be the most fruitful in the life of St. Paul, even though it seemed that he was doomed to inaction. And when we are chained to one place through sickness or circumstances, let us not lose heart. Even there in the apparent inaction to which perhaps the Lord has called us, we can be very useful to others and can work in the field of Christ as well.